Hello, and welcome to the final episode of The Wolf Among Us, called Cry Wolf. Let's begin, and hope it doesn't do weird crashes, bugs, whatnot, you know, and hopefully we don't see tits on the screen again. I mean, your eyes, and the teeth, you're not really supposed to do that, are you? <laughs> if I can avoid it. Oh, <laughs> we're going through all of them, really. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! no! What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bullshit. Oh God, Big B! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man. Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Okay, so we don't get an actual, you know, bit to begin with, then we get an intro, we just go straight into the intro. I actually prefer that. You've come a long way. Yes, I have. Through glitches and whatnot. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of. Stop pulling out the guns. Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sir, I'm here for one reason. I'm here for one reason. And it's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yes. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, hmm. Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what me. happened at the Pudding and Pie. You and your goons tried to kill me. I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. And as soon as the assignment grew out of control, I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you. 
And I can only offer my sincere... Crane wasn't yours to take. Crane wasn't yours to take. I apologize if I overstep my bounds. Won't happen again. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. Who did it? A bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the, I'm the law, lawyer, yeah. not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. A... I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept Why did you do it? Belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame me for it. No, we God. Silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? I'll take both of you. I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere! I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let I told shit. you I'm taking you what in. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? I'll get Bloody Mary in the situation then. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Yeah, I'm taking these fuckers in. Well, look at you all fixed up. Yeah, do I look good? <clears throat> so, do fucking give me a chair then, sure. Oh, well, that needs more people to fight. Get out of it. Get your fucking gruesome hands off me. Oh, loading, loading, loading. Ugh! Shot the guy's head off. Again with the loading, again and again and again. Oh, there we go. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Uh, you. 
like to see you inside. Oh no 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 no! Glad to see your insides turned out. And why is it load so much? Come on, can you do it instantly? A for days. Oh wow, that was quick. Oh, that's not how you. Oh god. Yeah, why? This way. Uh. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking stop. Well, D and Dom are now together, so... Come on, Dorothy. Ooh, shit! I know. Oh, I gotta be after Georgie first. Oh wow, I came through a brick. Ah, oh, quick! No, oh, my car. My car, bitch! My car! Uh. Oh, I think I just took a bit of it off. Now, oh, piss. Uh. Ah! Oh. 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 This is something. Well then. Oh, there's a girl. Oh! Oh! For days. Ah, you fucking bitch. Oh god. Gun it. Are you sure? Do it. He's not moving. Keep going. Hey. Oh, come on, right. Fuck it. And conveniently some spare clothes out on there for me. Oh, thank you, people. Well, we know it's his, we know the car's his as well, so let's just go in. I'm going to do what the fuck I like. Thank you very much. Come on. 
We can't stay here. Hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Hear it. Can you stand up? It's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? How did it get this? Oh, fuck. Well, it won't be your fault. Let's go in. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. That it, Sheriff? I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. You're gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Vivian. You don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to help you here. You can't Why are you seriously protecting him? want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered? Of course it does. Those girls. So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean. Ah, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Look, I'm sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told. Why'd Why you did do you it do it, then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still, You're still the responsible, the though. Trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and arrest me, then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Well, you're a part to blame. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have let you them go. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them, what would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die, do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? I told you, you don't know the fuck about anything. Hey, leave her alone. Leave her out of this, Georgie. This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove her, oh the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know I'm what not gonna, to I'm not gonna Same remove thing it. That happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that, but did it have I'm to be say like this? That, but... You sold me out. Welcome to the club, then. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. 
This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. Oh, dear. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. We'll find, find another, another way. way. She, she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't can... Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was of either you of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick oh of God. thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. Whoa, I have whoa, whoa. I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian, oh God. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't. Uh, uh, Goodbye, Vivian, Georgia. no! Oh my. Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Shit! Just. Jesus. Jesus. At least my arm's bare. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <sighs> oh. <sighs> oh, fuck! Get up. Get... Ah, don't think so, Bigby. I don't think your guts have uh, definitely expanded enough. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just to make yes. sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. No, oh, he's gonna get justice. All right. For both of us. You know the bastard. I'll desert. get what well, he'll get it worse. <sighs> worse. Don't worry. <coughs> Good. Old foundry by the river. Alright? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? <laughs> no, I'm not finishing well, you off. Kick me around a little first. Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you want to do, right? Well, whatever it is, just get it over with. That's I'm not that not person. I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> nah. What? I don't kill people. You're just gonna leave me here. I won't be a killer. I won't be a killer, Georgie. You selfish bastard. Fuck I'm you. Not selfish. I didn't say I wasn't gonna be a killer. Piece if you're gonna suffer, shit. then suffer. I would have killed you if Fever was still alive. But she's dead. So, no point with me. <laughs> Besides, I have a new clothing on, so no point in getting myself, you know, all bloody for that. The pudding ply will be now closed for unexpected bodies within the uh, community. We thank you for your cooperation. Hey, we're at the metalworks.
and I took a cab here again. Why is it with me taking the taxi constantly? To d can't I drive? All right, yeah, it's late night. Great. Of course, it's fucking late night. Of course. I mean, of course. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, at least my arm's better. Yeah. Good thing I can do all this. Oh no, my arm's better. All the bullet wounds are healed up and everything. How the hell did that happen? Wolf power! I've got Wolverine powers, you know? Shepherd of Metalworks. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, boxes! So this is where they've been sending these. Okay. Go do the... That ain't creepy. Just everything starts turning on. Anymore. Hey, Bloody Mary. The big bad wolf. Yes, the big bad wolf. That's my name. You used to be something. I am still something. I'm a good wolf now. I'm the big G wolf. You creepy fucker who's been they taking photos of me. You. Shivering bodies that fit. Mm hmm. Nope, I got her in here. Oh, they're making silver bullets. Really? Really? Silver bullets? It's just for me. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Yeah. Ah, Bigby. Pays I well. I here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish. You there. fucking bastard. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get what do you mean it won't take long? Now. Make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure. No, I'm tired of fetch. <laughs> Cut this shit out. Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? No one talks about mama that way. Oh, come on. <laughs> Is that the best oh, you can do? Sake. Yeah, bitch. Oh, where did you disappear off to? Oh, now I'm turning. Okay. Where did she go? Oh, I think she's uh, turned to her actual self. Over here. Hello. This is turned into a horror franchise now. Fucking hell, man. Alright, you know what the button is. See if they use the button again. Ah, 
Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Where are okay. you? I've deflected them all, apparently. Come out and face me. Well, you're very, very beautiful, aren't you? See why you call Bloody Mary? Stop jittering. Ow. Big B. Oh, shit, duck. Uh, shake her off. Shake her off. Do 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 do. Don't fall. Um, Big B, are you gonna? Oh, Big B, you transformed again. Why is it with you? Doing this in your clothing. Why? Why do that much? You're like the Hulk. No. Oh my god. Hmm. What to do first? Hmm. Get out of it. Oh, ah, you fucker. Oh. Ah, get out of it. Ah, fuck off. Ow. 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 Get out of it. Oh, fuck. Off me! Oh my god! Get off me! Oh my god! Oh for God's sake! Oh, tap that a! Oh what? Whoa! Okay, we think we found the actual big bad wolf now. Oh! Big B, you're not taking shit anymore. Oh. Where was this before? Ah, fucking hell. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Yum yums. Yum yum. Yummy. Get out of it. Oh my god, there's more. Get out of it. Swatting fire. Flies. Uh oh. Oh, I know what's coming. He'll huff and he'll puff. And he'll blow your house down. If this is the actual wolf in the actual things, I think that thing would be scary. Puffy Puffy. Uh oh. Just you left, eh? Oh, you think that's gonna help? Oh no! <laughs> Yummy! Bitch. Why can't you turn into that more often? Oh, even your mouth's covered in blood. I bet you're completely naked as well. And there you... 
Here you go, I'm gonna throw you some clothes now. Does the crooked man know that I'm serious now as he stares at me very much? Guessing so. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me hey, one wanker. good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed. I won't miss next time. Yeah, you fucked up. I really made you miss. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. That's the Look, plan. All I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's fine. Don't stop pointing the gun at me. I point a gun at my head. Yeah, see? This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. Fuck your precautions. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you no. know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the I story. I believe Georgie. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm not with the gun. The community. I don't mean to belabor the point. But just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? It's about justice. It's about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think nope, I'm still that you. I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. Sorry, you're pointing a gun at me. That's a federal crime. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's okay, go. let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? <coughs> no. Not handing over the gun. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why Cuff she'd him. want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <coughs> And your punishment will follow. Do 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 boop ba boop ba do boop ba do ba boop. I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. See? Fucker. Brought him back alive. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. He didn't make it easy. Place. No, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. 
He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I brought him back in alive. Glad you made it back in one piece. Thank you. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. The crooked man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you. He gave the order. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her, Let her finish. finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> Fucking crooked you bastard. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order. Inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Don't interrupt. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you stop didn't. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. I know you're, you're responsible. responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning, so cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get but on with it But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is such bullshit! For once. Always been a bit of a powder That's not what Georgie said. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? It was a trap. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. 
They do it because they want to protect oh, shit. me. As I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man. Just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to hmm. us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the Crane. one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? They burned my tree to ashes. What? You... As it was part. You see? Snow wanted the tree destroyed, so I did it, all yes, right? Yes, because she was helping Crane and the Crooked Man. Would you rather have that continue? What choice did I have? It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can we'll do promise better. to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but... We'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. Right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Hmm. <laughs> even the person who we burnt the tree down to. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of course you it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed them! Let me just them. make sure I understand you. 
You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was. Yes, because you ordered time. it. Yes. And I bet you someone's yes. gonna come through that fucking door. Of course. Where are you going? Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Maybe he's right. Did you think Bluebeard did that? Go? That was Bluebeard, not me. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed I'm still Faithy guessing that someone's going to come through and just like they confess this all. They me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. Is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I everyone calm, calm down, down, please. This isn't I the mean, reason a certain we're level here. of privilege should be afforded to me. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Hey, I'm the big who good wolf. The There's a difference. Miss White. Oh, hello. I thought someone would come through. Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's while? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Go ahead. Of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't... Just shut up. Is. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. She wanted Be you quiet. all three. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn oh. room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me! And this this confirms it. Confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have You're never winning done the crowd. without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like oh. we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, yes. you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can vote. Prison him. Could Lock be a democracy. We can vote. Freedom of speech. 
I mean, look where it's got us this far. I mean, it's better than most other places. We'll use magic. That's not good enough. There will be more if he isn't stopped. So we get rid of dangerous. We can send him away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think we. This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should vote. Have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. Mm. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Hmm. I think yes. we should throw him down the ripping, the Do ripping well. Right. Yes. Teach him throw a him down lesson. the well. No. Or lock him up. Yeah, lock, lock him up. Everyone, I'm not this way. Oh God. <laughs> oh, get off me, you prick. <laughs> Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it. Turn around the well. You know, just between us, I was gonna let you live. But now, you're going to miss me. No. No, I won't. <laughs> they will tell him remember that. How are they gonna remember this? Hmm? I decided for him to go down the well alive, and he's probably dead. For Lily. And faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. Well then. The Woodlands Luxury Apartments presents you... Oh, this is a day later. Did I finally get any sleep? New York City. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, flycatcher. Come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, great. This fucking line. Oh, someone else wore a ribbon. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Thank you. Is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. Good morning, Miss White. You're Good morning. How... How's the day? How is the sandwiches and everything else like that? Hmm, I'm still wondering who fucking Bluebeard is. Oh, there's Toad and TJ. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. 
It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice Morning, Toad. Day. Thanks. Shit. Just go grab oh, about that, this. would you? Sorry about all this. I know this isn't your ideal situation here. Come on, Colin. I'm walking. Yep, come on, right. Colin. Calm down. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, if you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. Aww. That's a big one. They're cool, because when sure, they're little, little they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. That's everybody. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to? No. I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be safe there. You'll be safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in hmm. daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't <laughs> know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Would Colin like a smoke or not? Sorry, Colin. Sorry, Colin. You got another one of those? How about a smoke for the road? One last time? Can't be easy getting cigs up at the farm. Eh, yeah, screw it. Give him a pack. Thanks, Bigby. Always a gentleman, aren't you, Bigby? I guess I'll see you around. Stay out of trouble, okay? If you even can. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, I think I've amended it with Colin, maybe. I don't know. Saying goodbye? Beep beep! Still wearing that thing. Oh, yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just. It's okay. I understand. I I'm not gonna try to remove the ribbon. I think she still has horrifying nightmares. Listen, I, I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out. Hold on. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. 
I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were, you were trying to protect them. Just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> What's your own? I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed oh, treason. God. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you I said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith... I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... So, that piece of fabric I found near there... That was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. Ah. So, you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Marissa. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. That's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go no one's ever fucking happy. And I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. I did. Because I am happy to do that. In, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've done some good. Done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Hmm. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little bird. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Go after her. I'll see you around. Wolf. Oh.
Is that it? Oh, it is. Oh, great. Oh, fuck. What did you do to Georgie? You left him to die. Oh, well. Did you uh, give the crooked man a trial? Yes, and most of us didn't. Okay. Most of us fell, pushed him down the well. Oh, he decided to accept the gift. Who's the th who's the bloody what? Two percent of people, like two point one percent of people that didn't accept. <laughs> at least I'm happy that at least everyone else gave it to him. Uh, I hope I've done the good thing. Well, I didn't know there was a actual choice for that. Like that was actually going to come up. And that's it! Oh, beast, you lied to him. Lied to him, you fought... You fought him after the investigation. You promised her, wouldn't tell beast, then... Outside the thing. You offered him that. <laughs> dead. Faith's dead. Georgie dead. Everyone else is okay. Continue. Is that it? That is, that is it. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed the, the Wolf Among Us. Wow. Let me down in the comments just tell me how you would do things as well. It'll be very uh, interesting to find out and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see all of you next time.